What's up guys? Are there forever vehicles passing? Sorry. So the content that I created for you guys for this week is actually a video which I did about three or four months ago during, during lockdown and I thought I had lost this video and there's been a very huge demand because I put a teaser on my Facebook page and so many people asked me for it. So I found, I found, I think I've got some fans driving past here, I found the, the video um, and yeah, so the video is fish head soup, as you've most probably seen in, in the title. So, as I've said in, in the video, uh, traditionally the lung sauce uh, fish head soup um, in, the, in the serving or the preparation of it, uh, the actual head is in it, but the manner in which I make it is uh, yeah, at the end of the, of the of the pot there is no head in the soup so anyway you'll see enjoy and um, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe Cheers. I seriously need to get a gimbal So this is the, the other off cuts which I also add into the pot as well and that's as you can see how much meat is inside there so uh, we're not going to let anything go to waste. Okay, so I'm done sorting out and cleaning off the fish uh, from the heads and the, the bones. So this is what I'm left with. And as you can see, that is quite a lot of meat over there. It's, uh, it feels like well over a kilogram of meat. And what I've also done is I've got the bases or the, the broth for the soup, which doesn't look very appetizing right now, but that is going to form the basis of the liquid of the soup. Okay, so I'm starting to braise the onion. I'm not sure if you guys can hear how it is raining. Uh, this, this rain has been predicted, which should have been here yesterday or this morning already. Some people made plans to go and play golf, to go fishing. But then they changed their plans because they thought it was going to rain and then the rain never came this morning. It only came this afternoon. So okay, we're not making food, so I'm not going to braise this for too long. Garlic. Chili. I didn't have green chili. In fact, I've got one old one here, which I decided not to use. I thought we had green chili here, Tom, but I was mistaken. So this over here, that's the stock which I made earlier on, which I kept referring to as broth. 
but it's actually the fish stock which I extracted from the heads and the other parts of the fish, the bones. And this is the meat. This is the meat that came from it. Um, quite a lot of meat over here. This is not a recipe which I've read or saw. This is just whatever comes in my own head. So this is crayfish spice. Yeah, this was bought some time ago. You can see the price there. So this is very matured crayfish spice, this, eh? I'm just gonna take a, like a less than a half teaspoon. Some seafood masala. Also, just a touch of it. And there's one more thing which I think I forgot inside. It's yeah, this is jira, jira, jira seeds. Okay, just a little bit of this. Just a little bit. Really, not much at all. The idea that I'm going to try here is to have a semi-creamy uh, but still a bit uh, waterish or runnish type of soup not too thick soup but still with some spice and some taste to it that's why I've added a little bit of the spices and some chili and then I've also got some creamy mushroom which I've made on here as well which I'm going to be adding and then I also have the black the pepper which must still come in and then eventually later some spring onion and then the potato which I'm going to I'm gonna grate okay So eventually most of the fish pieces is going to cook away but the idea of the fish pieces is that this pieces comes mainly from the heads of the fish and that's where most of the flavor is inside the head so this will really give a very good flavor to the pot to the soup So I'll just gauge with my hand, more or less, just a little bit salt. <coughs> this is the cream of mushroom soup. Now some of you might be thinking 
this is not the traditional fiskop soap. And you're probably right. But unfortunately my my family, especially my wife and my daughters, and they outnumber myself and my son, they don't uh, they don't particularly like the sight of the of the head in the soup. Hence why I've decided to extract the meat out of the head and extract the stock out of the head and the bones as well. So I've got a one litre of milk, but I'm gonna I'll gauge to see how much I want to throw in. Usually, I, when I make uh, soups like this, I throw in a whole litre, but because I've added uh, the the stock, I'm gonna gauge to see how much uh, milk I actually want to throw in right now. And this I also forgot to do, which I should have done much earlier on. Anyway, let's go. This is just a half a potato, which I'm grating so that it can dissolve or be absorbed easier by the liquid and add some salinity or some texture to the soup. Can you guys hear how it's raining? Okay, let's see what languages the spot speaking are. Now for some spring onion. If only you could smell what I'm smelling right now. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please make sure to subscribe and look forward to seeing my next video where I join a friend of mine as we venture down to the Cape Point on an epic fishing trip, which to me was more like a hike to one of the greatest spots in Cape Town.